Hey, how's it going, guys? I decided I was going to make use of my YouTube channel again and start blowing the whistle some more. Quick disclaimer, I will put citations down in the description to back up everything that I'm going to say. They are academic citations. They come from scholarly sources, and they're good enough for a professor. And if they're good enough for a professor, they should be good enough for you. Fact of the matter is, we live in the era of propaganda. There's never been more disinformation out there, and the pattern is the people that are spreading the disinformation are telling everybody that the people spreading real news are the ones spreading fake news. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about history, and I'm going to expose a little bit of what the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office is involved in. Okay, right now we have book bans and Bibles being removed from schools across the country. Interesting, because of the rise in neo-Nazis, you know, they started coming out of the closet around 2016. But here's the deal. It is an academic fact that in World War II, the Nazis banned the Bible, and they had what they called book burnings, where they literally burned books. Okay. And now we have neo-Nazis, and there's Bibles and uh, Holocaust and slavery books being removed from schools. I say put two and two together and see what's going on there. Again, there's academic citations in the sources to back this up. Now, as far as Antifa and uh, neo-Nazis and the, the smashing in of small business windows... Well, the Nazis in Germany during the World War II era had what they called Kristallnacht, which was like a Nazi holiday where they went around and oppressed other people's businesses. They targeted anyone that was an opponent, opponent of the Nazis, especially the Jews, and smashed in their small business windows and vandalized and did stuff like that. Um, just intimidation, any means to oppress they could as a way for them to exalt themselves. So it's a form of cheating. Okay, and... And that's called Kristallnacht, and I'll put some citations down in the description on that too. Academic citations, and I'll throw some extra ones in there too, like a History Channel link on it. And uh, PBS, you know, just to show the, the wide array of how out in the open this is. The truth is that the truth is right in front of you, but they're trying to like erase the truth and replace it with their BS. It's exactly what the Nazis did in World War II. Next topic, false flag operations. In Nazi Germany, the Nazis burned down a government building called the Reichstag building and blamed it on communists. In America today, you often hear people say, they're throwing the word communist around, the bad guys are communists, communists. In Nazi Germany, they had a, quite an extensive government and they had multiple parties. They had a democratic party, they had a communist party, they had a Nazi party, and they had several others, several others that I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, the communist party wasn't the bad guys, the Nazi party was the bad guys. It's it's interesting to me that people over here are calling Democrats communists when the Nazi. I'm pretty sure, and I'm gonna have to fact check this. The the German government had a Democratic Party and a Communist Party. Democrats are Democrats, communists are communists. People in this country that have Democrat on their voter ID card did not unanimously vote to have their business shut down during the lockdowns. They did not vote to get arrested for going to church or whatever. They did not vote for that. Divide and conquer is a real war maneuver. It's not a made-up thing, okay? Both parties are rigged, and I have evidence to support this. I'll include an academic citation that shows that Nazism is a far-right ideology. And then I got a news clip of a former neo-Nazi running for sheriff in Arizona as a Democrat. So we know that Nazism is a far-right thing, and then we got a, an ex-Nazi running as a Democrat. So that shows you that they're in both parties, okay? It would be a much more effective war strategy to just make take 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 turns making both parties look bad. When Donald Trump was president, they tried to make it look like all Republicans were the bad guys. Now Joe Biden's president, they're trying to make it look like all Democrats are the bad guys. This is not how things work. They're in both parties, okay? They're messing with your mind. Socialism, the word social, has to do with communication, social distancing, uh, wearing masks, which symbolizes keeping your mouth shut, social media censorship. They're trying to sever our communications. For example, 
the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office will block you if you make true statements on their Facebook page. They used to gang stalk and try to intimidate people who did so. They have their friends in neighborhoods. There's this little neo-Nazi punk across the street from me who's got friends in the sheriff's office and medical. Had his boys driving up and down the road blaring their siren and EMS trying to scare us and to keep him quiet. We got death threat signs pinned up on the tree up front. Anyway, it didn't work and now they don't talk back or act out in our county anymore. And they're back in hiding. 850.news on that. But um, the point is, now I don't know if they're still doing it. They're probably, maybe covertly, but they walk on eggshells these days. They're not emboldened like they used to be. But yeah, and if you call internal affairs, they'll just gang stalk you. You know, the more you read, and they block people on their Facebook page. Facebook is rigged. It's completely socialist. They got it where when I go to add friends that are from the local area, it won't, it'll let me send a few requests out. They never, they never go through. They're blocking it. They do not want me to communicate with locals on Facebook. Facebook is actively censoring me for communicating with locals. And the content that I'm posting is not inappropriate at all. I'm citing academic sources. I'm posting CNN news articles. I'm stating facts. I'm backing them up. And, uh, and they're censoring me. You know, I'm not using cuss words. There's nothing inappropriate about my post. But now I could post coupons on there for fentanyl, discounts on fentanyl. They wouldn't care about that. But they're trying to oppress a legal seed-bearing herb called Kratom. They don't want people to know about that. Okay, so let's recap. If you call the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office and you ask to speak to Internal Affairs, nine times out of ten, what they'll say is, well, what's this about? And when you tell them what it's about, they'll gaslight you. What is gaslighting? Uh, it's a form of psychological manipulation. It's like the ultimate form of lying. I'll put a citation down there on this too. Where uh, basically the victimizer tries to convince the victim that they're crazy by denying what they've seen. For example, you're both looking at the blue sky and they're trying to convince you that it's orange. And when you don't accept the lie that it's orange, they try to convince you that perhaps you're mentally ill or something or confused. Uh, gas hiding is very detrimental and its victims, it's a control mechanism. Let's see, what else? I just wanted to go over a few basic facts that pertain to everything. So we got the Nazis in World War II burned and banned Bibles, and the Bibles are being removed from schools today. Ah, another fact for you, very interesting. Let's talk about JFK's uh, secret society speech, and let's talk about the Freemasons and the Nazis real quick. Freemasonry is the world's oldest secret society. I'll put a citation down in the description, an academic one, and I'll put a link to a CBS news clip where they talk about this. John F. Kennedy actively spoke out against secret societies. He talked about how we were against them as a country. He was assassinated. Every non, I don't have to fact check this, but at least a lot of them, I'm not sure if all of them, but probably all of them, but a lot of uh, U.S. presidents that were assassinated were not Freemasons. Somebody look into that and see if any Freemason presidents were assassinated. But yeah, we got this clown across the street that had previously made a threat against the President Biden. I told him if anything happened to Kennedy, that he was going to get a visit from the U.S. Marshal. You know, we need Kennedy for 2024 because the last time we had Kennedy, he was actually going to make some change. That's why they killed him. That tells you how important they are. So let's hope that uh, our next Kennedy can do it. Okay, so where was I? We talked... Oh. Okay, so the Freemasons are into pagan gods. They're into Egyptian mystery teachings, Egyptian magic, uh, Egyptian occultism, basically. They're into this false god named Hermes Trigsmagistus. You could see his symbolism on medical stuff. Uh, the medical caduceus is tied to Hermes Trigsmagistus. I'll put a citation below. And... It could be seen on the Baphomet statue. What is Baphomet? It's Satan. There's a, they were trying to erect a Baphomet monument in Arkansas at one of the government buildings. I'll put a link to that news story below. And you can see it clearly visible. It's the same symbol that's on the medical stuff. 
Anyway, the symbol that's on the side of the ambulance, the rod of Asclepius, is also tied to Hermes Trismegistus, which is a Greek god. And he was the god of medicine, right? And you can see the serpents on it, the, the snakes. Okay, so Freemasonry is the world's oldest secret society. They're, they want to be like the Egyptians. They're judges, they're lawyers, they're presidents, they're police, they're medical, they're working. And uh, JFK warned about them. So as realistically, if the president warned about secret societies, Freemasons are the world's oldest secret society. He was assassinated. That means that the Freemasons are the enemy of America and the enemy of God. They must be monitored, identified. We've got to get infiltrate their groups, get their secrets, reveal them, and gang up on them. Identify every one of them and watch them. When they do something illegal, when we got them, they go into jail. We've got to drain a cult swamp. This is the work of occult cults. An old show called Unsolved Mysteries that came on television discussed this frequently. They talked about a lot of different cases where there was some type of murder that was tied to some kind of satanic slash pagan slash Wiccan cult. Over and over and over again. I'll post the link to one of those down here. There was a story out of uh, San Angelo, Texas of a satanic cult that was involved. They collected stolen guns and stolen drugs, and they were just all about that. And that is exactly what's going on here today. In fact, we got a guy out here, I'm not going to mention his name in this video at least, that's involved with these neo-Nazis, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're in possession of large quantities of stolen kratom. They're setting people up with bait, large quantities of this stuff for bait, like barely legal product, thinking that it's going to be illegal so that they can come to their house, seize the place, and steal it back from them. That's what they're trying to do. I even had two of my neighbors that were involved in that. Had friends in the sheriff's office and were out here selling stolen kratom in Santa Rosa County, Florida. Stolen. From their neighbor. And other people too, I would imagine. So, the name of the game is rigging the system and cheating. That's what people need to realize. That's what's going on here. That's how supremacy works. They go get jobs in the government. They try to blend in. They pretend like they're normal. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. But really... They're protecting their own kind. They're going after anybody who knows what they're doing and is trying to take them down and expose them. But in this county, they're not emboldened anymore. You understand? And in your county, you can make it the same way. What you need to do is stop listening to everybody around you and look at the facts. Do some academic research. Academic research. I've definitively laid all of this out on a concisive website that has academic citations, historic facts, Mainstream news articles and my own personal testimony. I encourage you to check that out at 850.news. That URL might change, but I plan on keeping that domain. Um, so yeah, please check that out. I kind of, I kind of want, want to just slap this video up. I'm not like the best content creator. I don't really feel like sitting down and trying to make these perfect videos. I'm not very good with all that. But the things that I have to say are important. So this video might just have a black screen, but I, I don't know. I might go through and add, you know, images and stuff and make it nice. But anyway, thank you for subscribing. Please check out my channel. I got a lot of the original Oklahoma City and 9-11 clips that expose the truth. They were live and they expose a completely different story than the official story which came out after the attacks. So by 5 o'clock, the story had changed. And they just kept gaslighting everybody and gaslighting everybody and gaslighting everybody. See, the news media can be gaslit just like anybody else. So 